gotten my excitement because it's at midnight. People are sleeping. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Akaskin Arena chapter 239 and during the last chapters, you know, <laughs> she feigned being arrested by um Chago and then um they were like they were gonna execute her or something or other like that and then Algira and Vold were like dressed up as um Dromos. And they were behind, beside her when um, Mania, like, went, basically tried to save her. And then they were like, we were just waiting for you to be away from Chago. And then they revealed themselves. I'm like, <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. Uh, the dragons are captured. Um, Ka what am I saying, Kai? Oh, my goodness. Um, Haka. Hack is like determined to save his people because he's like, I'm not gonna lose anybody, you know, that I love. So I'm like, <sighs> I just love the way that the last chapter ended. So before we get into this one, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash fiolimini. And now let's start this chapter, and here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then just come back for my review. I cannot believe that there's only four chapters left like 239, 240, 241, and then 242. I'm like, what the heck? Ugh, I have been on this training for so long. Okay. Look at his face. Are you mad? Even if their eyes meet, their feelings will never align. Of course not. The will to fight and the meaning of fighting adversity. Okay? Minya, you don't need to return there. Val will come for you. Oh yeah, she's under the impression that Val is dead. But Val is not dead. Now you know he's not dead. Okay, he's coming. Who's that shooting at them? Who's that shooting at them? Who's shooting at them? I'm only seeing the, the outline of the head and everything. That's Kaji, right? That must be Kaji. This is... Yes, it is! Kaji! Kaji, you okay? Lady Mini, I've come here to save you. For sure this time. Oh. We came to Yunyang and Kaji's rescue when they got encircled by the drones. That's what I was saying last episode when I, when I try to think how they all came together and, you know, came up with this plan or why not. This is exactly what happened. Then we pretended to be the drones and just so we could sneak in. <laughs> no, look at those two. Shoot. Who's getting shot? So he's entering battle. Whatever, man. So he took a vault. Okay. And then Algira. I guess they're trying to tell us that he's also a strong fighter, but I don't care. Whatever, man. Oh, so no one knew how strong he was. Whatever. That's my girl. Even if you, even though you have so much strength, you only use it to cause pain to those around you. Tell her. Well, tell him. Even if it's hard, by thinking about and working to build a world where there isn't a need for strife in the future, 
I found a meaning to my life for the first time. Oh, look at how what she's saying is affecting the, the enemy soldiers on Wana. Look at the way they're looking. Look at that. They're being inspired by her in this particular moment. Yeah, I knew she wasn't going to... That was part of her and everything, but I knew she wasn't going to be able to do anything to him. Look at the, 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 the resolve in her eyes, even though he has his hands around her throat. Like, look at her. I won't concede anything to a childish man who wants to destroy the people I love. Oh, my girl. My girl. There's no one left to protect you. <laughs> He's not here yet. But I know who's going to protect her. to cut off his head but I know it's not gonna happen your highness <laughs> the thunder beast the thunder beast are you afraid uh, 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 uh. are you surprised are you afraid <laughs> who's the secret <laughs> Lord Hack <laughs> who could grow a man by the name of Hack ah uh, now you know huh He's without a doubt the strongest warrior, the cornerstone of Kuka Kingdom. It's you, yes it is. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> and she's protecting him. Oh, love. Look at this email. He's protecting him from the back. And he's protecting her from the front. You got stuck. Is he struck you? Is she struck you? Is she struck you? Whatever. Princess, get down. I'm fine. In what way? <laughs> He's serious about execution. He, about that execution thing. Three of the four dragons, the human weapons of, have already fallen into my hands and they're. Heading to Phoenix Palace. Reinforcements should arrive anytime soon. Our empire is not going to such a sweat. No, he's like, the king is not going to show up. Uh, the whatever, whatever. But I feel like he, when he's saying that reinforcements are coming or something, or like, what do I feel like? Oh, Swan is doing something. Like, it's, it's going to stop that from happening or something or that like that. Like, I don't know. I don't see it going the way he thinks it's going to go. Okay, chapter 240. I may look like this, but my name is... Huh? He is also one of the dromos. Since when? Well, Princess Yona, this right I will rescue the dragons. Let's go. <laughs> he came to rescue you, Kija. Well, no, Kija wasn't... He had escaped. He didn't know it was him. Sorry, I thought you were a drummer, so I attacked you. Uh, he borrowed these garments without your enrolled. Aww. When we heard that an intruder was being executed, Hack rushed off to confirm it on his own. But this might be a trap. The one being executed is Princess Yuna. <laughs> what? He, uh, he's a dragon, right? So he should be able to... Wait, I stopped feeling their presence in this area a moment ago? Oh, okay. So they're not there. I thought he was saying that he stopped feeling their presence like uh, at all. He can't feel it anymore or something. But it's still there. It's just that they're not there at that moment. So he can't feel them. I thought that if it's you, you might help Minion be set free. But he has a... He goes back up. <laughs> Bonk. Ay, ay, ay. Ouch. Oh. Are you alright now? What are you doing here? Who was that? <sighs> oh, 
okay. I thought for a second, like for some for some reason I thought that Chago is the one that showed up behind them. But then I'm like, you know, he was over there with how did that happen? Okay, they're just going to back to them. Princess. Take minion with you and run to Goka's troops. Leave the enemy to me. Hack. Let me stay by your side. Let me stay by your side. I will fight, so please. Tell me all about it somewhere more close when you come home. Oh, I won't let you die. <laughs> They're both thinking that I won't let you die. Man. <sighs> what is it? Why are they both surprised? I'm, I haven't gone down or anything, but what is is the Koka army there? Is the Suon show up? Perfect. The wind tribe. The wind tribe. The wind tribe. I'm trying to contain my excitement because it's at midnight. People are sleeping. <laughs> the troops you say to what extent to have them oh so it was Jonas that came up with it to have them act as a blindfold and light torches when we sneak in ah oh, i don't know i'm not sure i get it that would make them think the strategy is for the troops outside to create a commotion in order to for you sneaking people I, re I read that but i did not get it <laughs> so i'm moving on Point is, they made a plan, and you know they're surrounding the encampment and why not? So they're here. The troops are here. So whatever. Honestly, <laughs> oh, I'm pretty angry. <laughs> I want to marry your mother. This is so fast. Why are you so impulsive? Of course, he's mad. Are you mad? Are you angry? Swan? <laughs> my apologies for my absence, even though you gave us the honor to come all the way to hear a castle the other day. <laughs> Because I was told Princess Joanna was to be executed and you requested my presence. But could it be that it was actually your execution? Could it be? Hmm? Could it be? Three. Haku! You ain't gonna You ain't killing him. You ain't not killing him. Oh, look at how surprised he is. The hack is defending him. Was that I haven't seen the person whose arm is like out there, but I feel like that must be uh what's his name? Ju judo. It must be judo, right? Your Highness. Uh why are you saving him? Let him die. Supposed to break meat with, so where are they? Strategy and connection the hard class compound power surpass Jago. Are we sure that there's no way they'll reach Phoenix Palace? I'm stopping here because, you know, why not? I only have two more chapters to read, so I'll give myself one more week. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I thought we were gonna be done with this dude. Why is Rahan Rahan saving him? Oh, should I just let him die? This, this 
the chapters like was so awesome they were so awesome so awesome ah, yeah, 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 yeah. i don't even know where to start well let's start from the beginning You and the others were there, and she tells. Oh, well, no, before she tells her that, Chago is like, if you come back in, I'm not gonna kill them, or so I'll consider sparing them, or something like that. And that's when Yuna told her that, you know, Val is alive and everything, and she was so happy. <sighs> you know that. And this dude jumped in battle. No one, I guess, has seen him fight before. So everybody was so astounded. Vold and Algira tried to take him on. Vold did not last. Algira lasted a little bit, but then he got taken out. And then Yuna, with her bow and arrow, pointing the bow and arrow at him. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, girl, I'm proud of you and everything, but you're not going to do anything, right? And so she. Psh, let it go but that didn't do anything the guy had her by the throat slammed her onto the floor and then she's like i made you whatever basically i distracted you long enough and then hack showed up and then he remembered who was it that called i think it was um kaji that called him hack or lord hack that said lord hack or something or other like that. And then that's when he remembered when um who was it that told him that Hack is the one that killed Kurau or whatever. And then he knew who Hack was and then they started fighting. <laughs> and then those people were like launching arrows at them. But then she he was like defending like blocking the arrows or something or other like that and then Chago came from behind and then he was like behind him with the arrow pointing at him and then they just shot him in the chest I was like yeah. but then the dude pulled out the sword he was bleeding but he still was turning around was giving out this speech to his people like we are gonna be victorious I have the dragons they're headed to the Phoenix castle what's this castle called whatever they're heading over there and that they should not be discouraged and they have reinforcements coming in and I'm like uh, somehow I feel like what you're saying is not gonna happen no, why not and then we go to Yotaka right Yotaka was like he was he was also with um Vold and Algira and you know when they came up with the plan to go um to infiltrate Chagol's um campaign to wherever they were but then he was supposed to go and save the dragons right and kija <laughs> oh conked him on the head thinking that he was you know he was in uh, dromo's outfit so he thought he was the enemy but then he explained you know what he was doing there trying to look for the dragons and then um kija's like he couldn't feel the dragon's presence there anymore and that is a bad idea and why not <clears throat> Excuse me. And then someone showed up behind them. I don't know who that was. Oh, Val was also there. Oh, yeah. They they joined up with Val. Val was still facing um Hitan. That is that's his name, right? Hitan. Yeah. He was facing Hitan and <laughs> he was hoping that Hitan was gonna uh, help him, I guess. But, you know, Hitan has family, so he has to protect his family. So when um, Kaj, no, Kajikija, when Kajikija showed up and, like, knocked him out, he was happy with that. Val was happy with that because he didn't want to hurt him. So he wasn't really fighting at full strength against him. He was just basically hoping that Hitan would, you know, change his mind. Wanna. So the fact that Kija knocked him out, it helped him, you know, and then I think that's when someone showed up behind him. I don't know who that person is, but yeah. And then we go back to <clears throat> what's his name, Jago, and um, Val also showed up, and the reunion. <laughs> He's like, "I'll marry you." 
<laughs> I love those two so much. Um. So yeah. So that we. Wait a second. If Val showed up there and there was someone behind that showed up behind them at first, where did I miss something? Uh huh. -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, bonk. Okay. Took him out. Thank you. What are you doing here? Or, or is it the Coca Army? Someone from the Coca Army that was behind them? Because if, after that, Val joined up with Mania, so I can only assume that the person that was behind them was an ally, and the only allies that showed up there were the Wind Tribe and the Fire Tribe and the Coca Kingdom. Let's you soon, God there, man. Oh, when um, uh, um. Hack was telling Yona to leave, to take Minyoung and leave and go join up with the um, Coca forces that he was going to take care of the people there. And she's like, no, nah, I'm not leaving you. And then they're like, I'm not going to let you die. Oh, let me fight by your side. That was so cute. It's so amazing. And then you see Yona and Hack like surprise faces and stuff. And then you see goes angry face and I'm like why are y'all like that and then you see girlfriend flying you know when you see girlfriend you know that someone is there right? that the truth is there and they said that they came up with this plan that I read it but I'm like uh, you know I, I didn't get it but there there I saw my weed trap and then you saw the fire trap what was his name again Hyoga you saw him as well and then um Suan was there <laughs> on his horses like you uh you said you were gonna have an execution and then you uh, extended this invitation to me or something or other like that and then uh, maybe this execution is was your execution or something or other like that. I don't know, it was so cool. And then Chango was like pissed off and he was gonna try to kill. So on. But then how could I jump in? And then right on, man. Ugh, I don't know why you do that, man. Why would you help him? The guy after you failed or whatever, he beat you up senselessly. And now you're back here to save him again. I'm like, boy, he should have just let him die over there, man. Ugh. And then um Someone was mentioning something about the dragons. Them needed to save the dragons. And then Kaji is like, with the help of Yuna, they disabled uh, all the... Um, wagons? I don't know. That are supposed to be taking people away. And uh, their, their wagon or something or other that should break down somewhere along the road. So they won't get to the Phoenix Castle. I hope that happens, but like somehow I feel like the fact that this dude did not die, that like right here, it's gonna spell trouble later. I'm looking at her slashing him. What I'm so worried. <laughs> oh, Ramon, man. Why? Why would you do that? I, I know it's your king or uh, why not, but uh, no carriages. He said he sabotaged all the carriages. And they're supposed to break midway, but like I don't know. At least if they were going after them, you know, Kija is still at the encampment over here. And they are on the carriage going to the Phoenix Castle or something or other like that. So, at least if Kija was making his way, you know, he can sense them, right? If he was making his way over there, then, you know, that'd be like extra hands when it comes to the dragons, the others, and to helping them and everything. But you are over here. I know the thing is supposed to break midway, but what if it doesn't bro break? And what if you have the soldiers from 
self guy there that recaptures them or something. I don't know. I mean, Chad Gold is fleeing. <sighs> I don't know, man. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to see my reaction to the next chapters, oh, to the last two chapters, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash family. You can also see the full for this chapter there as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm looking at this as like it continues in issue 10, 11, April 20th. And yeah, we may. <laughs> oh well. Bye. Pañuela de candela, volando por los cielos como estrella. La sirena de fuego, mujer poderosa y guerrera.